Hi guys, this is Clara Hudson of Wall Day Play Designs, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a two-row stockinette bobble. As you can see in my work here, this is a bobble that consists of two rows, and it's actually worked from the wrong side of the work. So I'll show you how to create that. I have a swatch here that I've started, and I'm going to be placing my bobbles in the middle of these sets of stitch markers right there. And I have that marked in two different places. And I, as I said, we're going to be working this from the wrong side of our work and it's going to pop out to the front side or the right side of our work. So I'm going to go ahead and work over to my first set of stitch markers. Okay. So I've worked up to that first set of stitch markers. So if you look here, this is where we're going to be placing our first bobble. So I'm going to get rid of that stitch marker. So the first thing we're going to do is we have to increase our stitches for making our bobble. And this bobble is going to consist of five stitches that are going to be worked into this one stitch. So in order to do that, I'm going to knit into the stitch once and then leave it on the needle. And I'm going to yarn over my needle, knit again, yarn over and then knit one last time into that stitch. Now I can pull all of these stitches off of my needle. And if we stop and look here, you can see that we've created five stitches out of one. Now we need to decrease these to create our bobble and get back to our uh, one stitch count. And this is going to be two rows, as I said, so we're going to stop and turn our work. And since it's stockinette, we're going to be, instead of purling, if you can see, this is the right side of our pattern, but we're actually going to be knitting since this is the front of our work. So the first row is knit five, one, two, three, four, five. Now we'll turn our work to our second row and we're at the back of our work now. So now we will purl those five stitches since we're working in stockinette. So one, two, three, four, five. Now, before we turn our work, remember we are working this bobble on our wrong side. So we are now back to the correct side of our work, but we have five stitches where there should only be one. So now we're going to pass the second stitch on our right hand needle over the first stitch. And we're going to do that four times. So we'll just insert our left hand needle purl wise through the second stitch and pass it over the first. So that's one. And we're going to do that a second time. Pass it over. That's two. And then again, grab the second stitch on our needle and pass it over the first. So that's three times. Now we have one last stitch to pass over. Let me get this where you can see it better. So insert our needle purlwise into the second stitch and pass it over the first. And that's our fourth time. So there you can see we've created our bobble, but if we remove that second stitch marker and continue in pattern, we're just going to cinch up our working yarn and continue working. But I want to stop here and turn to the right side of our work, just so you can see how that bobble looks. So it has no problem popping itself out to the right side of the work, as you can see. So I'll go back to the wrong side and we're just going to go ahead and work in pattern over to that second set of stitch markers. And I'll show you how to work that bobble one more time. So again, this bobble is always worked from the wrong side for this particular pattern. I'm going to remove that stitch marker. Here's the stitch that we're going to be working our bobble into. And again, first we're going to cast on five stitches from this one stitch. So we're going to knit into the stitch once, leave it on the needle, yarn over, knit a second time, yarn over, oh, yarn over, and knit a third time. And now we can remove that stitch from the left hand needle. We have five stitches made. I'm going to stop and turn our work to the right side of our pattern. We're going to knit five. One, two, three, four, five. 
and then again turned back to the wrong side, which is where we began. And now we're going to purl those same five stitches. And you see we've reached our stitch marker. So we'll remove that. And we're still on our wrong side of our work. So to finish that bobble, we're going to locate those five new stitches. And again, we're going to pass the second stitch over the first stitch four times. So we'll insert our needle, pass over the first stitch once, twice, three times, and four times. So there's our bobble. And at this point, if you want to push that through to the right side, you can feel free to do that. But you'll just cinch up your working yarn and continue working the rest of your pattern. And when I get to the end of this row, I'll go ahead and stop and show you how those bobbles look. So we worked it from, again, we worked it from the wrong side of our work. But when we turn our work and we're ready to work the right side of our pattern, you can now see those bobbles that have popped through. So that is how you create a two row stockinette bobble. Thanks so much for watching and I hope this helped you guys out.